just. You can see the dead sea in front of you. Jerusalem on the other side. Difficult to speak. Look where are we actually traveling now? This is the Judean Desert. Beautiful after the rain. Um, see the part of it is green, part of it is not. You can see the lowest place on earth. That's it, right there. And soon we will turn right. Look how difficult it is. And you will see again Jerusalem. Then wait with me. We just came from Jabal Muntar, which is the place that uh, the Jews used to throw one of the goats, the scapegoat, um, at Yom Kippur, the day of atonement. Uh, that scapegoat took all the seals, beard all the seals, and then she fell to the to death. Away. If you are Christian, it reminds us of Jesus that took our sin as well. To the right, you can see the area of Bethlehem. I know that we are jumping, I'm jumping too. Far, far away, I don't know if you can see. Um, it looks like a um, rider. It looks like a um, flat top like a volcano mount. This is the tomb of King Erod, Erodion. Look how beautiful it is. And that valley is the Kidron Valley that begins at Jerusalem and ends at the Dead Sea. I hope that we're going to see Jerusalem soon. That the area was full with monasteries at, uh, the, from the 4th century until the 7th century, until the Muslims came. We won't see a lot of Jerusalem, but it's at the, of the right part of the video now. Amazing, isn't it? The other side of Mount Elva, the Dead Sea, is the Moab Mountains, Jordan of today.